All right, welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to contribute to open source with the example of baseroad.io. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video about baseroad, so I'm a bit familiar with the, the project and the source code, and I've read through documentation and I've noticed that there's actually a mistake here. Um, so ideally you want to, let's, let's dive into the project. So the project's um, main repo um, is always the develop branch. So, however, in the documentation right here, when it says running the, the development environment, it says actually to clone the master branch. So I want to fix this and uh, I will take you on a journey with me. So first of all, whenever you're contributing to a project, whether it's open source or not open source, um, there should always be some kind of contributing MD or some internal document, how you should structure your uh, issues or merge requests. Um, right here, it says uh, very clearly, uh, fork the repo and create a branch off of the development branch. Um, and then you can do your merge request. Other than this, it doesn't say any specific taxonomy, how I should structure my um, issue or my merge request. It does, however, have a, uh, a default file for um, kind of like a GitLab specific merge request templates. So this will always be added to your merge request um, that you add all these things into your merge request and check them off as a checklist. Uh, so that's very neat. However, we're not going to do that right now. First, we're going to fork the project and I forked it already. You can see here it's MFTS slash base flow. And then I'm going to uh, open this up in Gitpod and this is how you launch something in Gitpod. Gitpod is basically an also open source, um, but Gitpod launches a, a web IDE based on Visual Studio Code uh, in your browser. Uh, it installs all the dependencies, so you don't have to worry about it. All right, and we're off to a good start. Uh, we're in our repo and we can see off of the beginning that when when I came across this issue, I actually wanted to uh, do a different video, but I still wanted to show you how to install kind of like the dev environment. They talk about this dev.sh shell script file, um, which basically helps you create a complete develop environment um, using Docker um, with auto reloading or hot refreshing. And so this is what I want to um, actually start. And I'm going to, because I'm already in the develop branch, what I will do is I will check out a new branch um, called um, development docs documentation. And now I'm in this new branch as instructed by the contributing MD file. And just to show you how it works um, or how GitHub, uh, Gitpod also works, um, I'm kind of like installing the, the project right here. All right, and we're up and running. So this was about three minutes, but right here we can see actually that our Docker file or Docker containers have all started. So we have different tests for um, the backend, such as the salary beat worker, uh, the salary export, and the main salary worker. Um, we have our backend, obviously. We have our front end. We have uh, our database, our Redis, and our caddy and our mail server. So while this is starting up, we can actually, we have to change one thing because this script is set out to run on your local machine. So um, where it says in the, in the right here on line 341, where it says public backend URL, it actually says um, localhost 8000. So, I mean, we see here the backend is um, connecting to uh, port 8000. This is great. But however, think about it. 
we're in Gitpod. So Gitpod actually gives you a fully qualified domain. And if you look in here, we we see what this means. Um, we cannot connect to to our front end cannot connect to this port 8000 and localhost because it's not localhost. It's actually this very complex URL. And to show you that this actually works, we can have a look at the at the redoc uh, or the API documentation. Um, so what we need to do is we actually need to copy this and actually change it with the public backend URL right here in our uh, script. Make sure you don't have a forward slash because um, the API routes automatically add the forward slash already after the um, uh, top level domain. Right now, we just need to restart. And this will basically spin up our containers with this new um, environment variable here. All right, we can see that about a minute in, um, all our servers became available and our, our route also works now. Um, just to show you what I meant is now it's actually, instead of connecting to the backend on a local host, it will actually connect to our proper backend um, at 8,000 MFTS, um, basically on the GitHub route, uh, GitPod route. And we can see right here, this is the same, and we can also check our, our APIs uh, for the backend, um, or the automatically generated APIs. Um, so this is uh, super helpful to get uh, kind of inspiration also. All right. Um, well, this is the, you know, you've seen this in the other video already. Um, now it's running on a development environment. It has hot reloading. So whatever you change um, right here will be reflected in your, uh, in quotation, local environment. Um, however, the, the issue that we wanted to fix is right here, right, um, within the docs. And so the docs also are in this mono repo and they're under docs uh, development and then running the dev environment. So, however, I didn't find, um, so we switched this the, um, with from master to develop. However, I didn't find a way to change or actually test run the, the docs because the docs don't seem to uh, deploy to uh, the web front end, which kind of makes sense because it's kind of it's it's written in view, and these are all MD files. So I'm sure there's some other setting um, in the in a pipeline or a C C I C D uh, that kind of takes this and deploys it. I didn't find it unfortunately. There's no documentation about how to deploy the docs, um, but since I know I can't really break anything with just changing the text here. Um, I'm good with not having tried it and seen it for myself. All right, the the change in dev is very specific to me, so I don't want to uh, commit this. I just want to commit um, my changes right here from master to develop. And I'm going to end uh, fix um, documentation for dev environment and I'm going to commit this only and um, I can check this and I can git push um, let me double check so the origin is right here um, and I can git push I want to set upstream master so now i've created a new branch also on my origin and i've pushed it successfully so when i go in here i can see fix development documentation uh, 
the branch exists and the latest commit also exists. And with this, I can go into a branch, hit a merge request, and I hit the merge request on the develop side. Um, I want to choose the project template. Ah, okay, this is already applied. Um, and I want to write something maybe below. I'm not sure, there's no space. Um, merge content, merge request content. So edit. I changed the branch from master to develop in the documentation for how to run the dev environment of base row. Okay, and with this, delete my source branch. When this is merged, this is fine. Um, squash commits when I only have one commit, so I don't need to squash the commits really. And this is fine. Obviously, other members can also commit and I create a merge request. So this is done. I should kind of like check this because documentation has been updated, obviously. Um, I have not added the change log yet. These are all things that I should do. However, I cannot test it on, on different uh, Chrome and Firefox yet. Um, somehow the pipeline didn't work. Um, not sure where the issue is. Um, but these are things now that I would go into deeper and, and try to debug my merge request. But the first steps are done. Are done. And yeah, thanks so much for following along. Um, hope you learned something and hope it was fun for you as well.